Showbiz and Lee Drew on 97.7 FM. My next guest is Deborah Byrne. Deborah Byrne made her television debut on Brian and the Juniors on Channel 7. Before becoming one of the original cast members of the Young Talent Time team, a show that was to launch the career of so many people. In 1974, she won the Logie Award for Best Teenage TV Personality and the TV Week Queen of Pop Award. In 1975, that first single you're hearing now, He's a Rebel, was released. It stayed at number one in Australia on the charts there for seven weeks. She made her first guest appearance as a solo artist on The Graham Kennedy Show at the age of 15. And from there, she's gone from success to success. A remarkable career for this young lady. I saw her in Sunset Boulevard, a remarkable performance there at the Regent Theatre some time ago. She's been in Cats, Jerry's Girls, Les Mis, you name it, and Deborah's done it. Deborah is one of our great, great people here in Australia. She's now coming down to uh, our neck of the woods, to the Cadinia Cultural Centre, and presenting Tapestry, produced to celebrate the 45th anniversary of Carol King's album of the same name, and she's on the line right now. Deborah, nice to have you back with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a lovely intro. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. I meant, I meant it all there. I meant to say, uh, on the Graham Kennedy show, Brian... Look, before, <laughs> before Brian and the Juniors, and you weren't even born, we okay. had uh, another show on Channel 7 called... Oh, what was it called? It preceded Brian and the Juniors. Oh, it'll come back to me. But uh, then Brian took over, and it became um, Brian and the Juniors. And that's where oh, you came. Oh, Swallows? Swallows, Swallows Juniors. Swallows that's Juniors, it. yeah. Because yeah. one of my good friends, Kay Sharples, was on that. Um, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, Sw- uh, that's right, Swallows Juniors. But, oh, great television and great memories as you go back through those years. Yes, absolutely. Incredible. And, 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 <laughs> Brian Naylor, he was uh, one of the most divine gentlemen. He was, he was. He was Humbly all of man. Mm. Yeah, he was uh, beautiful. A, a great comp. It was at 3DB, went to Channel 7, and of course a, yes. a great newsreader. And, a... and no one does Carols by Candlelight nearly as well as he did. He was no. just divine up there. He was, he was always so gentle and a gentle man, you know. Deborah, you're probably going to agree with me. I hope you do. Um, we've got people who we import from interstate down here to compare <laughs> Carols by Candlelight. I'm sure we've got someone here who can do it for us. Oh, I, I certainly think we have someone here who could do it for us, and I agree with you. I don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> and and the one thing I, I find uh, disturbing is that we don't really need two hosts. No, no, not at all. We don't need two hosts. In fact, I think the two host thing gets in the way of itself. Yes, yes, it does. One's talking over the other one and uh, almost falling over each other's feet. At the they same do, time. they do. Yeah. yeah, I just don't think it's uh, necessary. No, we've got yeah. some good hosts down here, and I'm sure we could look. You and I will go on a bit of a parade here, and we'll walk up <laughs> and down the streets to find someone. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we would, Deborah. A fantastic career. Look, when I saw you in Sunset Boulevard, and I saw it on two occasions, that show itself, and I think that was the first that opened the Regent from memory when the Regent came back, wasn't it? Yes, um, it was. Yeah. A stunning, a stunning show, and the part you portrayed there was just wonderful. It really no, was. No, it was a beautiful role to play. Mm. I loved every second of being Norma. It was, it was a, a great experience for mm. me. And it was so well done with the, the video and the background there. And, uh, uh, and I didn't out. see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, you were on stage, so you yeah, couldn't. Yeah, that's right. No, <laughs> yeah, you couldn't. Tell, tell me about Tapestry. Now, you, you're coming down to the Cadinia Cultural Centre. Yes. You'll be here on Saturday the 30th of July. Now, we've got a great centre. If you haven't been there before... I you, have. You have. I oh, have wonderful. been there once before, and it is a beautiful theatre. In fact, I think Victoria's got some of the, the best regional 
theatres in Australia. We're really very lucky to have so many lovely theatres. Yes, I said that at one o'clock when I came on today. We, we're very, very fortunate. And, and this mm. region down here, we've got three outstanding theatres, including the Frank Art Centre, of course, and also the Drum Theatre. But mm. uh, so some great theatres. And the Cadenia Cultural Centre is, is one of the best as far as I'm concerned. The, yeah, no, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Acoustically, it's... I'm, it's I'm actually, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of my youth in in uh, Gippsland. My family have lived all all along that highway, Nanagoon, Kui Rup, Garfield, Officer Pakenham. I know it very well, though it's changed a lot it over has. the years, but I know that area quite well. Well, Deborah, I live at Officer now. We used to live down at Nary Warren and in, in Dandenong, and we've just moved down as it's grown, so we're down at Officer <laughs> now. So. Well, when you drive past, just wave, will you? I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Now, you're coming to town to uh, to do Tapestry. Now, tapestry. it's Carol King's 45th anniversary. Yeah, wow. Mm. That's... Uh, that's incredible. I mean, I've been listening to her since I was 12, and she really has been part of the, the soundtrack of my life. I'm, I'm sure millions and millions and millions of other people could probably share that, that same story. Um, well, was she a I'm, great I'm, influence I'm, on your life, Deborah? I think so, very much so. I mean, to to hear those songs and to be able to listen to a woman speak about emotions and the way she so beautifully does and it's always very raw and you know the authenticity of Carol is something that you can always trust and I think as a young girl becoming a woman that you know she she guides you well you know I think she does and and something that I often say on this program the songs of today have very little meaning and the melody lines aren't always there you can go back to Tapestry Carol King's albums and, and many many others too and there's a meaning behind them that's true but you know I, I find a great deal of uh, meaning in quite a lot of the, the music that I hear now um, Ed Sheeran um, oh, yes, yes, James yes. Blunt you know there's some yes. really good singer songwriters I there's a there's a young woman that my daughter she's um about to become 16, my daughter, and she listens to a girl called Melanie Martinez, and her songs are extraordinary. Very different style, of course, to what we grew up with, but mm. the songs are just poetic. I mean, she she has a way of putting lyrics together that uh, are extremely clever and, and, and beautiful and thoughtful and, and very heartfelt lyrics. So I think maybe I'm just lucky that I, I have a 16-year-old in the house with me <laughs> to to make me aware of um, some very good singer-songwriters that are around now. Well, well, some of this rap stuff that goes on, I, I, I just shrug my shoulders and say, uh, I, I can't understand a word you're saying. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand at all, but there's, you know, there's, some, there's some very good poets out there that just happen to be doing it in a very different style than what we grew up with. And yeah, That's I, very, I, well yeah. mm. yeah. <laughs> very well said. <laughs> You're not treading on anyone's toes. <laughs> no, no, I actually, I, I have, I don't have a problem with today's music. I, I quite enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, there's some music that you know, there's certain songs that when they come on the radio or if they if they're played at home, I, I'm up. You know, so you? I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not disturbed by a lot of the music that I'm hearing now. I, I can kind of handle a lot of it. Now you're on stage with. Uh, Vicar Ball and uh, yeah. Monique uh, Dimitini, aren't you? We are. Monique Dimitini is uh, our musical director. She she plays the piano and she joins us in some of the vocals. Uh, Vicar and Linda lead. Uh, we lead uh, most of the show with our vocals and and. Uh, I guess, you know, as a pair, we're very, the, the unlikely pair that finally got together. I'm thrilled. I'm, I'm absolutely loving working with Victor. How do the harmonies come out beautifully? Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, really good. I mean, she's one of the, you know, the most, um, I think, what can I, experienced uh, harmonisers, uh, you know, in our industry. And uh, she, she's a great lead singer. I mean, I... I, I'm assuming that you've had Vicar and her company down there doing the Edda James at last 
uh, performance, mm-hmm. yep. the concert there. And I'm going up to Sydney in a couple of weeks to see it there at the Opera House. And I saw it here in Melbourne a couple of years ago. It's, she's an extraordinary performer, and I'm thrilled to be working with her. I interviewed Vicar oh, many, many moons ago when she first started out. That must have been, what, uh, 25 years ago? Yeah, uh, probably. Something, yeah. something like that, yeah. So uh, one of the first, I was working at 3AK in those days. And, um, okay, right. Yeah, I, I had her on air at, uh, at that stage. You're coming to the uh, Cadenia Cultural Centre, as I said, on the 30th. It's really yes. a, a sensation for us because it becomes a preview here before you take it into the uh, yeah, state. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, yeah. I'm actually, I think I've got a lot of mates turning up there. Have on you? that night, so that'll be nice. Well, you'll have a, you'll have a full house, I say. <laughs> I hope so. Great. <laughs> so long as they're all paying. Wonderful. They're all paying. Yeah, Deborah, no, it's, it's a delight to talk to you, dear. I, I could talk you. to you for thank hours you and much. hours and hours. But it's on the 30th, 8 o'clock, and uh, tickets are $65. You can book by uh, phoning the theatre, the Cadenia Cultural Centre. We'll see you there on the 30th, Deborah. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye to you. Deborah Byrne.